What's up guys, Tom 18 here, and today we got another deck profile, and this time it's on something I like to call Alien Fist. Now, I've had this deck since pretty much the inception of Fire Fist, and I'm very surprised. I've seen nobody use this deck. I've seen no deck profile on YouTube. I Google it, I get no results. I'm just completely surprised nobody runs this. In my opinion, this is the best Fire Fist deck there is because you can run um, aliens. And if you don't know what aliens do, I'll get into it as I talk about it. But first, I just want to mention the whole deck profile first, just in case for some reason you can't see the cards. And I'll talk about the cards later on. Or I'll talk about the aliens at least. So we run Triple Shock Trooper. Um, it's the only normal alien monster, I believe. And why is it important that it's normal? Well, because of Rabbit. <laughs> and we do run Triple Ammonite. This is the main tuner of the deck. The only tuner in the deck. And what it does is, when it's normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 or lower alien monster from your grave. So basically, all your targets for Ammonite um, to summon something with its effect is Alien Shock Trooper. And it's quite easy to get in the graveyard, because of, or in your hand, because of King of the Pharaoh Imps. So going on, why do we run these aliens? Um, first off, it opens up level 5 synchros, so Kataster and our mods. Um, it opens up level 9 synchro Mistworm because all your monsters are level 4, except for the tuner, so it's 1, 4, 4, 9. And for the main reason, it's because of this beautiful card right here called Cosmic Fortress Golgar. Now, to synchro summon this, it has to be Alien Ammonite and a non-tuner Alien Monster, which is Shock Trooper. And the reason why aliens are so good in this deck is because of Golgar's effect. So let's go ahead and read it. Once per turn, you can select any number of face-up spell or trap cards, return those cards to their owner's hands, and distribute new eight counters among monsters on the field, equal to the number of cards returned. So basically, you bounce face-up spell or trap cards in the field, on any side of the field, and return them to the hand, so you can get rid of pesky, like, Necro Valleys, or pesky Swords of Reeling Light, or, I don't know, any cards like that. But the main reason is to bounce your own cards, your own tanky to reuse it, your own, um... Tensu, I guess. You can't really reuse a Tensu, but if you want it in your hand, especially your own chains, bounce your own chains to use it again. Uh, your own Tensens to use it again. Your own Tenkins to use it again. And probably the most important, Vanity's Emptiness. If you summon Golgar and activate Emptiness, that's kind of like a lockdown. Um, your opponent can't special summon, you can't special summon. But, with its effect, you can return it to your hand, and then special summon, and then set Emptiness again. So, is that why Cosmic is so good? Yes, but there's another side to Cosmic's effect. Once per turn, you can remove two eight counters from anywhere in the field to destroy one card your opponent controls. So, if you're able to bounce at least two face-up Sora traps car trap cards, you can pop a card your opponent controls. That's amazing. Most of the time, I would bounce ten keys, or uh, most of the time it would be face-up spells because they're easier to get face-up, or even a chain. Destroy a card, set chain again, activate tanky. So, as you can see, Golgar and Fire Fist, oh, on top of that, it's a 2600 level 5 synchro. That's a really high attack for level 5 synchro. So, as you can see, Golgar with Fire Fist, it's going to reuse your tankies, reuse your tensus, your chains, your tenkins, your tensens, and a critical card, Vanity's Emptiness. So, how do we get this into our hand? Well, that's why we have two King of the Pharaoh Imps. It's a generic rank 4 monster, and you can detach one Exceed Material to add one Reptile monster from your deck to your hand. Alien Ammonite and Alien Shock Trooper are both Reptiles. So a good hand would be Rabbit, of course. Rabbit, make two, make two Troopers, use the effect, detach Trooper, get Ammonite. And then the next turn, you can summon Golgar. So that's why Rabbit's in here. And, whoa, well, that's pretty much the Alien part of the deck. So let's move on to the Fire Fist. We got the standard Triple Bear. Um, two dragons and two gorillas, just because I simply don't have room. Uh, two cult soldiers, because this, this card's stupid, you need it. Uh, Rabbit, we talked about. Uh, Gyoko, because it's a face-up card you can use for Golgar. And it just like, it's like a MST, but better with Golgar. So then you can activate it, um, then return it, then destroy the card you targeted if you want, or a monster. Then activate Gyoko again. So it's just another card to easily have face-up to use, uh, manipulate Golgar's effect. Triple Tenki, of course, and the Double Tensu uh, for like protection and stuff. We got Lance because you can get your effects with Gorilla, Bear, whatnot, save them. 
Double MST, of course. One duality. I ran two, but I really wanted another coach soldier, so I'm running one right now. I'm maybe thinking of taking out one Gyoko for another duality, but so far this deck has been really good. Uh, the Raigeki because it's stupid. Compulse, it's stupid. Double Chains because you need to negate monster effects, and you can reuse it again if you like negated a tour guide, and it's probably going to stay in the field or negate a monster that they exceeded with. That that was a material, so then you could bounce and reuse it again with Golgar. It's just stupid. Uh, Tenkin and Tensen for the same reason, and to protect your Fire Fist. Mirror Force just to have some defense. Warning, of course, and of course um, the card everybody's writing, uh, Vanity's Emptiness. It's just stupid in this deck, especially because you can lock down your opponent, use Golgar to bounce it, special summon again, and then set it again. It's just, just so stupid. So I'm. Pretty certain you guys don't need a duel with this. I've had many duels. Uh, I sadly do not, not have any screenshots, but you can imagine the field will most likely have Golgar and a rank 4, or two Golgars and a rank 4, or anything like that. Or even just win with Fire Fist and no aliens at all. That's possible too. So let's talk about the rest of the cards in the deck. For the extra deck, we run one Cardinal because you never know. Two Tiger King because it's the best thing to get. <laughs> Sky Blaster, of course, Exiton, of course, Cowboy, it wins games, Double Imps to search your aliens, and 101 and Black Ship, of course. So the extra deck is pretty much standard on the rank 4s, except for the Feral Imps, and the Synchros, of course, but that's where the aliens come in. So, oh, and on top of that, Fire Fists have amazing side deck capabilities. You can side triple imprison Light Imprisoning and Triple Shadow. Uh, light will conflict with your alien ammonite, but that's why you can take out triple ammonite and run triple shadow. I mean light. Um, shadow will only conflict with your king of the pharaoh imps. That is the only dark monster throughout this whole thing. Oh, and black ship. So, um, I guess you could like, I don't know, take out pharaoh imp for a dweller or something. I don't know, but you won't need to make it then. But yeah, and of course you can run uh, Imperial Iron Wall. You can run Gozen Match, Rivalry of Warlords. And the best side deck for stupid necros would be Mask of Restrict. So, as you can see, this deck has a lot of synergy with it just by talking about it. If you don't believe me, go ahead and duel with it. I will post a duel if you guys request it, but I highly doubt it because you can probably see it yourself. I guess uh, one word of advice. Uh, the best thing to do is summon Ammonite, get your Golgar, Tensu, summon Wolf Bark, get a Fire Fist, make a rank 4. That's like one of the best feelings in this deck. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and this deck is awesome.